Hi guys, it's Carissa, and I'm about to try something that I may regret. About 10 minutes ago, I received both my BoxyCharm and Birchbox in the mail. I'm, oh, that's embarrassing. Can you tell those are my work scissors? What I'm gonna do is compare the context, contents of the boxes, but not to really compare the services, I guess, because they're very different. Um, Birchbox is sample sizes and deluxe sizes, and every now and then, like maybe one full size, and BoxyCharm is almost all full sizes. So here is my birch box, back to the standard old box again. And whoo, here is the inside. Looks, looks really full. I had a feeling that was chocolate. Look, maple bacon mini chocolate bar, cocoa pod. It says choco pod. Crisp bacon, delicate maple sweetness, and a bonfire smoked sea salt bathed in milk chocolate. Oh boy. This is the bonus this month. It says that it has a $1 value. By Royal Apothic, Cuppa Cuppa Firming Tea Treatment Mask. Eight minutes to softer, brighter skin. It says an eight minute indulgence for radiant skin. A base of tea blended with rare clays and superfruits to brighten and smooth skin. A full size of this is $58. I'm very curious about that. Oh, look at who it is. It's dirty little Cindy. This is the Cindy Luminizer by The Balm. I actually own this product in the full size. It uh, it did that though. The full size of this is $24. Um, I did not pay that much for it though because I'm pretty sure I got it on Ho Look. I like this product already. This is by Not Soap Radio. And it says when life gives you one too many lemons and you've misplaced your happy place. Oh, I know that all too well. It's not quite as lemony as I thought it was going to be, you know, being that it said that. But it says, joy-inducing bubbles for bath or shower. And a full size of that is $16. Sorry, my husband just took a shower and came in here naked and thought he was funny. Not funny. Moving on. This is the Gilchrist and Soames, not familiar with this brand, uh, spa therapy. It says, relaxing sea funnel. It does smell very... Uh, spa like it's got almost like a ooh it smells very cucumbery which I'm not a fan of but I think my sister is so I'll pass that on a full size of this is $15 and the last thing here is a big old box this is the diva curl three step calling all curls introductory kit cleansing hydrating and defining this is a zero lather conditioning cleanser which I love that concept um, an ultra creamy daily conditioner and a light defining gel. I did receive a packet of a Diva Curl product. I did not care for it. It was very, very crunchy type gel. Oh, look, and it comes in packets like this. A full size set of the three step system is $59.85. And now on to BoxyCharm. So here is the inside of the box. And when I remove the cards, it looks like this. Okay, it looks like this is a blush. It is Ofra Blush in Paradise Pink. I like how minimalist the packaging is. That's a nice pink. It says it can be applied wet or dry, and full size it is $24.95. That's a very nice blush. I have to grab this next because it's interesting. I feel like I've seen this somewhere before. It is the Color Bug Purple by Kevin Murphy. Is this like hair chalk? Wipe on, wash out, intense color in seconds. Okay, it looks like that. I just dug my nails all into it. Oh, and that's why it was so difficult to remove. It was taped closed. So it says this ranges from $20 to $25. I'm supposed to use it on dried hair. Is my hair purple? It is. This here says it is the Bella Pierre Cosmetics Shimmer Powder. And a full size is $14.99. It's got the, you know, salt shaker type. Shake it like a salt shaker. So it only lets a little bit of product out at a time. Wow, that's really pretty. Really, really frosty, shimmery. But it's kind of like a true white. Sometimes that can have, something like that can have sort of a green cast to it. And I don't care for that. Now I put some on. This isn't probably how I'd wear it, but 
Seems like a really good quality. I have a similar shaped container here that is by Mica Beauty Cosmetics. And this is an eye primer. And this has a $45 value. $44.95. Holy cow. Um, for a $45 product, it sure has a lot of weird stuff going on in there. Can you see like the, it looks like lint and a pink spot. I don't know what's happening. It, it's really, it's solid, but it really melts. Um, I mean, that's, that's impressive. I do really like that. And it seems like it's super opaque. The last thing in the box is this. Whoa. This is a Tarina Tarantino Eyelicity Glitter Liner. And it says it is $16. Look at that packaging. This is in the color Black Diamond. As far as packaging goes, this is, this is great. I love the metallic lid and then all the glitter here. Is that the actual product I'm seeing? The glitter isn't super obvious. I just drew over my eye primer. This isn't something I'd buy on my own, but it is fun to have to try. All right, that is Birchbox and BoxyCharm for the month of November. Let me know which box you thought did better this month. I know it's hard to compare the two, but um, I'll be honest, I am such a fan of Color Cosmetics, even though that's the last thing I need, that I just am so excited about any color cosmetics that I get. I will put the appropriate links below if you are interested in looking into receiving Birchbox or BoxyCharm for yourself. And if you have any questions about the services, please feel free to ask. But as always, that was fun. Thank you so much for watching, guys, and for hanging out with me while I played with all that stuff. And I will talk to you soon. Bye.